Welcome to this video on trend trading indicators. Actually, today I'm going to show you one of the most effective and accurate ways to measure a trend that actually is not an indicator. It's actually an index. Now, what's the difference? I get that a lot. So a lot of times, like I, I did a um, webinar and a video on the tick index before, and even after saying that it's not an indicator, people still kept asking me to send them the indicator. Well, it's not an indicator and neither is this. So when I say it's an index as opposed to an indicator, what I mean is that you're not going to find this in the list of indicators on your charting platform. It is a, um, well, it has a symbol similar to a stock. So here is the symbol. So you would look it up a symbol and now you'll have to ask your data provider, not necessarily your brokerage firm or your software provider, unless they're all the same, but whoever provides your data, they will have a unique symbol for this. And it may be the same as mine, or it might be different. Now I'm using kinetic for my data provider. So if you have kinetic, you can use that symbol right there. Otherwise you'll have to ask your data provider. But um, basically what it is, is it is a uh, statistic that is measuring the volume of shares of a security that are traded when the price is increasing. And then conversely, the volume of shares of a security that are trading when the price is decreasing and measuring that difference. Okay. Measuring the net difference. Now there's several different versions of this. This is one of the New York Stock Exchange and they have others that will measure the NASDAQ or the Dow or the S&P. So you can get more specific if you want to. So for example, if you're trading the E-minis, you may want to look at the one that specifically measures for the S&P. If you're measuring or if you're trading the NQs, the NASDAQ, um, the Qs, whatever, the ETF, you may want to use the one for the NASDAQ. Makes sense. This is one of the most powerful things that I've ever come across. This thing is amazing. It is really, really good. I really encourage you to at least experiment with this because this has helped my trading tremendously. Okay, so here's how we use it. First of all, I like to add a 15 exponential moving average to it. You can try other moving averages. I don't think there's any particular magic to which one you use, but I like to get just a, get a big picture with a smooth moving average of the direction. Okay, now here are three ways that I trade this. Number one, you need directional days. That means where, and we'll get this maybe once or twice a week. So this is especially helpful for day trading. Maybe once or twice a week, we will get a market that pretty much moves generally in just one direction all day. So here's literally the open of the day and that's the close of the day. And as you can see right before the close, it goes all the way down there and then we get a little pop up the last 30 minutes. But basically it's a unidirectional day. This is not a day where you'd want to be taking long trades. This is a day where you would do much better if all you did was short the market. And that's the only trade you took was shorting the market. So I always have this chart up every single day and I am looking at this thing. And if, if the um, net volume is staying below the 15 EMA all day long, I'm just taking shorts. In fact, I'll tell you what, there's some days that you can just take a short at the beginning of the day. And as long as this thing continues going down, you could hold at least part of your position for the entire day and just have a huge winning day. And let me tell you, one day like that out of a week can make you a lot of money. Even if that's all you traded, that could make you a truckload of money. Now, because of the gyrations and oscillations of the markets, you want to use money management and risk management, obviously, but you might want to still keep a contract or two on a small part of your position on for the entire day and just rack up those huge wins. So that's the first way to use it. Now, the second way to use it is to take trend reversal trades. But here's the tricky part. This index will, is going down, down, down all day. Now you'll look at the, uh, let's say the E-minis and maybe they're actually going up. They start a little uptrend and you look at this index and it's still going down. Oh, that's a beautiful trade. That is the perfect time to take a trend reversal trade back down, shorting it back in the direction of this. This is more of a broad stroke um, indication of what the market is doing. 
So even when this is going down, 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 the E minis can, or the spiders, or the Qs, or the YM, or whatever you're trading, diamonds, uh, they can actually be making higher highs and higher lows while this is still going down. So you look for those little uptrends occurring on the market and then trade, take a turn to reversal trade back in the direction of this index. And again, those are fantastic trades. All right, so here is an example of what I was just referring to where the net volume is up, 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 up. It's above the 15 EMA, just along the whole way. However, on the E-minis, we've got a lower low and another lower low. And so this looks like, oh my gosh, this is a downtrend. It looks bearish for the E-minis. But when you compare it with this, where the volume, the net volume is up, um, that means that this down move is probably going to be temporary because, yeah, you'll get down moves. You will. You'll get moves against this. But there's more up volume or when price is increasing, there's more volume than when price is, price is decreasing. So you get still price increasing and decreasing. But which one has more volume behind it? Which one has more interest? And most likely, that's where the professional trading is occurring because the professionals trade with the big volume. So let's follow the big volume and not follow the small volume. In fact, let's trade against the small volume traders. So this is one way to do that and it works extremely well. And here's the third way to use this. And this is one way to help you stay out of choppy markets. So if you look at this, you'll see that the, um, the net volume indicator, well, or uh, index, I'm sorry, we don't really stay above the 15 EMA or below the 15 EMA. And if you look at the angle of it, it's not just straight up or straight down like I had on the last two charts. It's just pretty much consolidating here. And uh, then we get a move up, but then it just comes right back down and consolidates. So it's above it. It's below it. The 15 EMA is just kind of wiggling sideways. You get above it, but then back below it, above it, below it, above it, below it, above it. Okay. That's a day where there is no dominant um, volume to the upside or the downside. In other words, the market professionals, the big money hasn't committed to a bullish position or a bearish position. And therefore, most likely, you're not going to get any big follow through to the upside or the downside. And you can see that on the minis here too as well. So it follows just it's pretty much in a a channel type of situation. There's no big winners or losers to have here this day. They just aren't existing because the market doesn't provide that for you. So that's the third use of this and it's how to stay out of choppy markets. So if you like this video, if it was helpful for you, absolutely it's free to you. But if you got value from it, you actually have a moral obligation to share it with others. So go ahead and click that share button below and share it on social media. And I'm going to tell you a secret. It actually feels good. If you press that button, you're going to get a warm feeling in your heart because you'll know that you're helping someone else. And also, if you're watching this on YouTube, please click the thumbs up icon below. Leave a comment. I really love reading your comments and responding to your comments. And it encourages me to do more free tutorials for you. Also, I'm giving away one of my favorite trade strategies called the rubber band trade. It has a really high win loss ratio. It's very simple. I can teach you to in about 26 short minutes. And I've created a video explaining that trade strategy and you can get it absolutely free by clicking in the image in the top left corner up there. Or if you're on a mobile device, then click on the little eye with a circle around it in the top right corner of this video. And if you're not watching on YouTube, then there's probably a link below or an opt-in form on the side of the page. Once you do that, I'll personally email the video to you with the rubber band trade strategy.